Hello everybody, my name is Peter and I've been working with Len on the Sting, Sting 600 uh, flying hydrofoil for the last year or so. And uh, this video is just going to discuss the blends on the foils and how we achieve that. I've set up three uh, models here of the, of the wings and um, what we have is, this one we'll work on is, or uh, well, this curve here is called a G1 continuity. This one's a G2 continuity and this is a G3 continuity. G1 continuity means that the connection of the blend at either end is tangent to the surface. G2 means that it's curvature continuous, which is this curve. Um, and uh, the ends here are straight, which has infinite uh, curvature. So there is a, a small zone here where they're straight and then it goes into the blend. And this is G3 which means that the second derivative of the curvature is continuous. G3s are used a lot in consumer goods because they're from an appearance point of view they're very smooth and they feel very good too. The blend is, is uh, um, very smooth. So as we go G1, G2 and G3 blends the radius gets smaller as the blend gets smoother. So if we have a look at this first one we just go uh, blend surface I'm um, using Rhino by the way so we uh, grab these two curves and Rhino just checks that the direction of the curves, all, all curves have a direction in a CAD system are the same otherwise we would get a wine glass when we connect them together we progress to our curve. I'm going to control them simultaneously so we're in preview and if I grab it here and we start here somewhere this is probably something that we don't want. It's a bit straight. Then we're going to bring it down to about a G1 which is about 1. If I put in 1 here. Oh, It will accept that and it, will, it uh, looks like it's a bit shorter than one. So I'll start that again. If we do a blend surface. I grab the two surface ends. We put a blend in. I edit it again. We'll try again. Blend surface. Grab this edge and this edge. Only hit the enter once. We preview them. So we pick these um, here. So we'll pick this at about one. Okay. So that's a about a, a tangent blend. And then we'll um, quickly have a look at how smooth they are. using what's called a zebra plot. We can see that uh, the straight parts are, are don't have much curvature, all of the spectral lines are straight. Then they hit the blend and we can see that uh, here with a tangent blend uh, they change nearly immediately whereas uh, the curvature on the G2 and the G3 blends changes over a longer a longer time or span if you want to call it a span, a longer distance is probably the correct way to describe it and uh, that they're quite smooth so if I go thinnest it's a bit harder to see so that's about the right that's about the right um, spectral thickness have a look. If we look down here we'll see that the this is gives us curvature continuous across the join because that line goes straight across the join. But if we go up here to our, uh, these ones uh, they they don't go across this curve in a direct manner. They bend off. If 
I just change that to a different direction that doesn't help as much so we'll go back to vertical so this is uh, what we're uh, the next stage of this would be to um, decide on the blend then I will uh, move that into a CAM program and figure out its toolpath for machining so that we can uh, we've made the struts the root and the tips already the straight bits and we're up to uh, making the blends to connect them all together that's it for now hope you uh, um, this gives you something to think about bye now